Get ready for my culinary journey with my succulent braised short ribs recipe served with a side of flavorful upscale ratatouille confit bialdi and pomme purée, mashed potatoes façon Joël Robuchon. Hey, Bruno Albuz here, let's get started. So, short ribs are a cut of beef taken from the brisket, chuck, plate or rib areas of the beef cattle. The meat off of these bones isn't as tender as the meat of a steak, but it has much more flavor. Braised short ribs is an affordable option and it never disappoints. So for the marinade, I am going to use Pinot Noir and a ruby port. Note that alcohol used in marinades should be cooked off. Indeed, when using wine in marinade, if alcohol is burned off first, the meat will absorb the full flavor of the fruits of the wine and condiments. Then I'm gonna throw in there the chopped carrots, uh, leeks, onions, garlic, and aromatics. Bring to a boil and cool that off. Then place the meat in a cool pot or a large container and cover with a room temperature marinade and refrigerate for up to 24 hours. Now we have plenty of time to take care of the ratatouille. Ratatouille is a French Provençal dish of chunky stewed summer vegetables such as zucchini, eggplant, tomatoes, but also onions, garlic, herbs, and olive oil. The version I am going to make now is inspired by the Pixar movie Ratatouille, a more sophisticated approach that will definitely impress your guests or customers. First, I'm going to char peppers, whichever you like. You can also roast them in the oven wrapped in foil. Let them sweat for about 10 minutes, then peel and remove the seeds and membranes. Mince garlic and chop peppers. Next, I am going to chop some onions, celery stalks and carrots. That is called mirepoix. I'm going to saute the mirepoix with butter, olive oil and herbs for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to throw in there the garlic and cook until fragrance. Add peppers and tomatoes. Season to taste with salt, pepper, and sugar and cook for 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna add some fresh basil and you want to break this mixture down. Piperad with the food processor. Do not overmix. Return to the stove and cook again for an hour until most of the moisture is gone and set aside. To follow, I am going to show you how to make the perfect vegetable tian. To do so, I am going to cut thinly yellow squash and zucchini into 2 mm slices using the mandolin. And then I'm going to cut the eggplant and tomatoes to the same thickness, but with a sharp knife instead. To make the tian, overlap a row of tomato, eggplant, yellow squash and zucchini and repeat 4 more times. That's gonna be for one serving and continue until done. Gorgeous season with salt, pepper, crushed garlic, fresh thyme, and a good drizzle of olive oil. Great news, you can make your vegetable tian in advance and refrigerate it for up to 24 hours before cooking. All right, so a day has passed and we are going to take care of the short ribs. I'm gonna take them out from the marinade, pat dry, and I'm gonna sear the meat on all sides in a hot Dutch oven with a drizzle of grapeseed oil and salt. Once the meat is seared, I am going to saute the vegetables from the marinade for five minutes. Next step, you want to remove the vegetables from the pot. Put the meat back in, cover with the vegetables and add the wine from the marinade and the veal demi-glace or reduced beef stock. This is going to be fabulous. Bring to a boil, cover and cook in the oven for three hours at 225 degrees Fahrenheit, 110 Celsius. I have to confess that I have tried the sous vide method, but quite frankly, this old fashioned way of cooking ribs that are fully immersed in their juice at all time produces the best result. 
texture-wise and taste-wise. Give it a shot and let me know what you think. Remove meat from the pot and discard veggies and aromatics. Pass cooking liquid through a sieve and refrigerate. The fat will rise to the surface and solidify, so all you have to do is break off the top with a knife, discard the fat and finish the sauce. Carefully arrange meat on a baking tray lined with parchment paper and top with the weight in order to press down the meat during chilling. And after one night in a refrigerator, you are going to end up with this beautiful and perfectly even slab of meat. Trim and cut into desired portions. Needless to say that you want to save the trimmings for your next uh, pasta dish, parmentier, eggs, soup, you name it. So, for better handling and conservation, you may want to use your vacuum sealer to store the portioned meat, otherwise store in sealed container and refrigerate for a few days. Note that most cooked foods will only stay fresh in a refrigerator for uh, a couple of days, when vacuum sealed cooked foods can last in a fridge for up to two weeks and can also be stored in a freezer for up to six months. Alright, so next in the agenda, let's finish the sauce. So remember, the fat is already gone. So you want to reduce the cooking liquid by half. Then whisk together port and cornstarch to make a smooth slurry. Thicken the sauce, readjust seasoning, and right before serving, whisk in a couple of chunks of butter. Next, let's focus on the pomme puree recipe that made Chef Joël Robuchon famous for. Creamy, buttery, simply excellent. First off, use the best potatoes, such as La Rate or Yukon Gold, and cook them skin on. Pass hot peeled potatoes through a food mill and add the butter gradually over the stove. And when the fat is completely absorbed by the potatoes, you want to incorporate the hot milk with the whisk. Look at this amazing texture. This is what we call in French. La purée mousseline. Definitely kids' favorite. Adults too. All right, so let's plate this meal out and see what it looks like and taste. Reheat the meat and glaze it with the sauce and flash bake. Then mold out the hot piperade and top with the roasted vegetable tion. Spoon out purée mousseline and add the glazed short ribs. To get the full recipe, visit my blog brunoalbouz.com. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a gorgeous day, bon appétit, see you soon.